Welcome to feeding time. Big cheat meal here for you guys. Uh, we're doing it a little different tonight. I'm actually upstairs in one of my guest rooms. Uh, I'm doing my cheat meal on Saturday night. And because uh, I did another video earlier today after my uh, big workout. And I don't feel like getting any junk tomorrow. And uh, so here I am. And I'm going to do the Papa John's. This was a last minute decision. I said, you know what, guy, I, there's some stuff going on tomorrow. I'm going to be pretty busy. I, I don't feel like eating a, a whole pizza. I planned on doing this uh, here for a few weeks. So I'm doing it tonight to get out of the way. I got to do a big leg workout and deadlift. Shut the fuck up and just eat the food. I know, I know. Why am I talking? Like I have like a wife and kids asleep in the other room. I don't. <laughs> I do have a mother that lives in the apartment downstairs. So, And... Uh, here it is. We are doing the Chacaroni Papa John's Pizza here. And I'll give you guys a little view of the... Look over there. Look at those two little babes. Ah, shit. All right, technical difficulties there. Really screwed up the phone. It's okay, dogs. It's okay. Open this up here. I forgot to order more. Real dumbass. Look at that. The Shacaroni. I've met Shaq multiple times. He's a big man. Big man. He's not the big guy because that's trademarked by me. He, but he's a bigger man than me. He's a huge man. I feel like a little child next to him, just like Big Show. I think he might be taller than Big Show. Big Show, those. Big, big Show's a freak. <clears throat> Like shell shocked as us. What a pleasure wrestling Big Show. I was, I, I really like Big Show a lot. Big Show's a good guy. We almost got in a fight once, but almost, and it was pretty fucking goddamn close. <laughs> I was IC champ. I think I talked about it on here before. I talked about it on the podcast. Let me have some pizza. I'll tell you guys this story in a little bit. It's a good story. Uh, this looks like, I mean, the shakaroni. It's supposed to have extra cheese and extra pepperoni from everything else. So let's have a slice without the garlic butter sauce to give it uh, a fair shot. Makes me want to go dunk on a bunch of little bitches. All right. All right. We're playing ball. Game on. Nice cold Zevia. If you guys drink regular soda, I always say don't drink your calories. If you're an asshole that drinks like Coke or Pepsi or any other like sugar-filled regular soda, slap yourself in the face from me and stop and go grab these Zevia. They're sweet with stevia, not aspartame or sucralose like all the other shitty diet soda companies. No calories, no sugar. These are way better for you guys. You know. Hey, what do I know, though? What do I know? I'm just a big, dumb pro wrestler that's turned a successful supplement company into quite the business. What do I know? All right. Mm. All right. Dogs, clean up crew. Clean up crew over here. They're the best. I keep a clean house, so. Big on a clean house.
A lot of women have complimented themselves. A lot of women. I don't know if I like this lighting. I feel like I look like fucking Robocop before he got fucking killed. <laughs> what is his name? Fucking Murphy? I gotta stop cussing. I'm killing my own videos off by cussing, I feel like. I feel like YouTube really doesn't like the cussing. I've been told that multiple times. But I love what I do so much. I love having fun and just be able to talk like the world's not watching. If I gotta mind my P's and my Q's, you know? But it would be nice to probably make 10 times as much if I stopped. Hmm. I got the supplements. I gotta melt this. I can't let this go. We're gonna have to eat some without it. I know some of you are really disgusted with my eating habits as well. I'm doing videos, guys. I'm talking. I am technically eating on my own, though. Like, so it's like just me eating in the privacy of my own house. I happen to be recording it, which no one's watching it as I'm recording it. You know, cut me, a, cut me, a, cut me, a, cut, give me a little break. Cut me some slack, okay? Slice to war halfway. I'm going to sleep like a baby. I already took my GTS, go to sleep. It's starting to slowly kick in. I took it about 15 minutes ago. I'm going to be out there. I might fall asleep during this video. I don't know what really makes this a Shack pizza. I mean, the box is Shack and they are given a dollar. This is actually a very cool thing. Where did I see that at? They gave a dollar of every pizza um, to a good cause. So I'm, I'm a, I love that kind of stuff. So They should have made a pizza that, that was in the shape of shack. I don't know how, that, how well that would go over, but... Just a pizza that would look like Shaq. This is what I would be like pitching in creative meetings with Papa John's. The shaq easy. It looks like Shaq. You got a problem with that? Fucking fight me. Because this doesn't resemble Shaq at all. It does have extra pepperoni, I guess, but I mean, you could do that anyways. This is, it tastes like a pepperoni and cheese pizza, which I love. So no complaints on that end. I feel like maybe though they should have missed some of the pepperonis, like the free throws. And I love Shaq. I think he's one of the greatest NBA players of all time. But like maybe the pizza people forgot some of the, they missed some of the pepperoni in the head. Like there's just a bunch of pepperoni in the corner of the box. They missed. They're like, I get it. Because that's what, like, they, like, even though, you know, you know, I get it. I get it. I'm not making fun of Shaq. For his free throws. Because I think people are just stupid and make fun of people. But I'm, I'm just trying to find something 
to make this a shack pizza. My first idea was making it out of him. Just a cut shack, like cut out. Second idea is the pepperonis that missed the pizza. I don't think it's a horrible idea. Those were my two pitches in the creative meeting. Fucking fire me. I don't give a fuck. I got the supplements. I'll just give you my honest opinion. Yeah, sure, you put his face on the box. I want the pizza to somehow fucking, you know, remind me of Shaq. It's the only two things I can think of. If you have an idea in the comments how this could be more resemble Shaq, let me know. I talked about on my shooting blanks wrestling report. We were talking about social media with Raj Giri from WrestlingInc.com. We're talking about, I guess, Brandy. We were talking about Joey Janela deleting his social media or having turning it over to someone. And that Brandy supposedly Rhodes deleted her Twitter. And I didn't know that was news to me when I saw something on it tonight. With Cody and people using the N word at her, and like, man, it's just such poison. The key is, I'm telling you, is not using social media. I can read anything, and like, I just, I just block people. I don't even like. I just, it's not even upset. It's just like I don't want the negativity around. And I see people with that mindset. You can't stop and try to fix somebody's mindset. They got to fix it on their own. So you just block them and then hopefully they fix it within some point in their life. But I don't take anything personal, especially wrestling related. And this is no, this is just straight up. I remember going to shows when I was younger and seeing all the people at the show and be like, man, like I was there to watch because I wanted to do it. Didn't make a noise. I was, I was a horrible fan because I, I wouldn't, I was watching intently because I wanted to, to do it so badly. But I remember just seeing all the people walking around with their fake championships and all their merch and shit. And I never really, like I bought a couple shirts when I was younger. I, I would just wear them here and there. It wouldn't, but like didn't, and everyone's different, right? So it's not, but like, I just remember like thinking, like, these people are different than me. And I just, I never let it, I always think back to that. And, uh, and you could tell when the people that leave the comments on shit. Just can't let it. If it was someone that I like actually legitimately respected, then that's the, you know, like, I'm like, man, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you always got to consider your source. I tell people that it's, you can't just block them. And even you could try to get through to one or two if you really think it might help. And I've done that a few times or a hundred. And then other times you just block them. You just let them go. Good news is in real life, never meet a bad fan. Everyone's fucking awesome. But you would have thought with the girl, is it Hana? The suicide, the people. You would have thought like that stuff would have improved, but it doesn't. People just don't. That's the bad thing about social media. It's great for connecting, but it allows anybody to connect. Or you to be, um, and then to have access to, which is a dangerous thing.
just look at the president. Plug in anybody. Whoever's president receives just a massive level of hate, regardless. Imagine that. I would love for everyone to experience that for one day. And I think the world would be a much different place if everyone could. Regardless of who's president, just plugged into that position for a day. Think about your life and how consumed you are with every decision for your life. And then realize, is it possible for somebody to be out concerned about everybody else's life and theirs and their family? Nope. So. Sweep your own porch. I'll stick to that till the day I fucking die. Whatever the world's going to do, the world's going to do. I'm going to sweep my own porch. I'm going to learn as many skills as I can that, that benefit me and what I like. And sweep my own porch. When you sweep your own porch, you don't have anything to worry about. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I'm going to continue to sweep my own porch. COVID, horrible thing. If I chose to sit around and watch the news and complain and not do anything with my business, and I'm not getting any funding or anything, like as far as my business could have taken a huge hit. It's gone the other way. It's gone the other way because of this and being prepared and learning on the fly and not being a victim. And reading and reading and reading and reading. A lot of the shit that you guys don't see. That you don't fucking see. the best. My little babies. Daddy's little angels. Huh? No matter what, you guys make life just better. A little Sophie, little guy, my little Frenchie, my little Boston. The fucking best. Peach is falling out of my mouth. A lot of ideas going through my head for wrestling. I've got one huge money idea. I obviously can't say it. That's going to be the, the go-to, hopefully. But I got about a year to have two years mapped out. Because that's what smart people do. They map out. Not in WWE, of course, because it goes fucking week to week and nothing makes sense, right? But... Uh, I could turn that fucking place around in a matter of weeks. Legit. Put me in there, and I, God, I would never take it. The, it would take such a massive amount of money to deal with that fucking environment. And then I'd have to beat the shit out of Pat Buck the first day and probably go to jail and fucking pay out a huge legal fee for that. But other than that, I'm not rocket science. But Big Daddy Ryback keeps popping in my head. I love Big Daddy Ryback. And I'm not trying to be a Scott Steiner ripoff, I, but Scott Steiner was my favorite at one point when I was a kid. So it would be out of respect to that. But Big Daddy Ryback. Me in the ring, I would like to have maybe a couple porn stars, maybe three. I think three. Phoenix and Marie, Kendra Lust, and Kimmy Granger. Those three with me at all times. And we bring them on on a per, per appearance deal. Get them for a good rate, hopefully, because they're my, you know, cool with Phoenix and Kendra. But I can just picture it now. And that's this isn't right away. This is down the line. I start losing it. Just me. I've got a good catchphrase, too. 
Catchphrases are everything. You gotta mean it. This goes to all the hungry hoes out there. Big Daddy Ryback is your meal ticket. Feed me if you need me. And the girls like kiss me and shit and whatever. You know, just fucking big guy shit. Money. Fucking printing money. Feed me if you need me. Put it on a fucking shirt. But it makes sense from a psychology standpoint. Because this goes to all the hungry hoes, the gold diggers, right? That like me because I'm big and famous. <laughs> you want a piece of the big guy? <laughs> and then, then I tell them I'm your meal ticket. Like, hook up with me. I'm your meal ticket. I'll fucking, you know? And then I fucking say, feed me if you need me. You know? Hook it up. Fucking hungry ho. I love it. Book it. Main event. All the way to the top. It's not fucking hard. Not hard. Well, I would want it to be hard. But not that. It's not hard booking. You know what I mean. Top, top guy shit. I'm all out of garlic butter sauce, but I got one slice left, guys. <sighs> Put in my comments, too. I hate to do this every video, but I don't hate to do it. Check out my Feed Me More Nutrition $1,500 cash giveaway this week. All that information will be in the comments, but long story short, use discount code HUGE, fucking jacked, 1500, HUGE1500. On feedmemore.com, save 20%, get a free shaker and workout towel, and an automatic entry into my $1,500 cash giveaway, along with a custom Feed Me More Nutrition weight belt. Available, the contest ends Friday, August 14th uh, at midnight. And I announced the winner on Saturday here on Feed Me More TV. Uh, uh, excuse me. I need to get to bed. Stay up past my bedtime for this. These other food reviewers, I don't know if they do all the, I haven't watched enough. I know the Bell Life complete things, they do challenges. But over here on Feed Me More TV, you're getting a whole meal with the big guy. You're getting some discussion. Some good, some bad, maybe. I don't know. We used to get a lot more views. YouTube's really, really fucked us. But it's possibly me fucking me with the fuck. The fuck is really fucking everything up, guys. What do you want me to do? I'm only human. I'm not on a PG show. I'm in my house. I'm in my house. What am I supposed to do, huh? God, it would be nice, though, to get these videos going. For God's sake, my Pocky Chip video got over a million views. That was 10 months ago. Here I am hovering in the five to 10,000 range now. What the fuck, YouTube? Fuck you! <laughs> Luckily, I got the supplements. So I could just tell my fucking truth. I don't have to be like, oh, YouTube, come on, you hook, you know, maybe hook me up on the views. I always find a way around it. Be myself. No, lie down. So she's sitting on the edge of the bed, eagerly watching me. I got them switched to real dog food, the farmer's market. The farmer is it far, the farmer's dog or the farmer's market. I can't remember. It's, whatever it is, it's one of those. I pay for it. I don't, it, it it's it's, it's more, way more expensive than regular dog food. It's made all the difference in the world for Sophie. <sighs> Dumb.
done. What a cheat meal. Give me a second to compose myself, guys. Where did it say they donate? I want to know what the dollar was for. Somebody will put it in the comments, I know. I joined Papa John's to bring people together. Sharing pizza is a good start, Shaq. That was the Papa John's shakaroni pizza. Um, very good sized pizza. It was uh, more than filling. I, 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 I don't feel sick at all, though, on that. But I'm full. I'm definitely full. And uh, <clears throat> taste-wise, everything, it tastes like a normal pizza. Just extra cheese and extra pepperoni. Uh, again, a little upset they didn't make it in the shape of Shaq or anything like that. Or miss some pepperonis on the pizza. The guy just happened to fucking miss fucking some in the corner. You're like, how the fuck did he miss it? But, oh, it's fucking so simple. It's like, but it, I'm not the one out there doing it. I'm not the one making the pizza. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a fucking fan, so I can't really say anything. I don't know how difficult it is. The pressure of all the other fucking employees on the back watching you fucking throw that pizza, those pepperonias on the pizza. But I'm going to go ahead and leave a shitty message online about it anyways. Didn't have any of that. Didn't have any of that. So, Out of five stars, the only drawback is, like I said, those two things. Nothing with the taste of the pizza. Uh, the, the pizza would have been five stars for, because I... Um, I take it back, 4.8, 4.8, with mushrooms would have been five, for me personally, me personally, I, lo I love mushrooms on a pizza, pepperoni and mushroom, uh, so 4.8, but I'm, I'm docking it down to 4.6, because it wasn't in the shape of shack, or the missed pepperonis, I think it was a huge missed opportunity on their part, to have a little fun with something like this, but um, what do I know? Anyways, guys, uh, check it out, though. And I know a dollar is donated. I don't have it. I saw it on the thing, and it's going to drive me crazy. Maybe you should turn pro over higher. Oh, they're higher. I would like to work at Papa John's. I can listen to audiobooks on the drives. I'm kidding, guys. Seriously, though, if I had a job like that, I'd listen to audiobooks up the ass. I think Uber drivers and fucking delivery people have such an opportunity to learn. I've learned everything from books. I don't know if you think that's good or bad, but I think it's really good. Anyways, guys, but a dollar is donated towards a good cause with all of this, too. And it, it upsets me because I know I saw it on something. And I'll probably see it the moment I stop this video. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my podcast, The Ryback Show. We're moving up the charts. I have Rusev on the show, a.k.a. Miro, a.k.a. Rusev. I'm the only podcast he's doing because he's my buddy. And uh, for all the social media people that like to try to stir shit up and everything, you can go fuck yourselves. Because you're stupid. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks, wrestling report please support us over at patreon patreon.com backslash ryback we have two different tiers available over there for both those shows feed me more nutrition available on feedmemore.com and amazon all first time buyers can save 25 percent on the website with discount code save 25 and for all personal videos from yours truly cameo.com backslash the big guy ryback thank you guys again love you very much Get hungry, stay hungry, be more, feed me more.